Hello everybody and welcome back to Let's Play Dust, the Elysian Tale, or An Elysian Tale, whatever it's called. Anyways, in the last episode we made it to the village of Aurora, and there's actually a little platform up here that I missed, it's right, it's just right next to the fruity food shop I went to last episode, and there's a little girl up here, so let's talk to her. Say her name's Colleen. Oh, hi. You're new. Are you travelers? Possibly. Maybe you can help me? I can't find my oh, little Oh, he's dead. Corbin. He's definitely dead. He's not in the village. <laughs> No, he's not here. I can't find him, and I've looked absolutely everywhere. Well, then he's definitely Don't dead. Worry. I'll keep an eye out for him. What's your name? My name is Colleen. Oh, I wonder if he left the village. He could get hurt. If he left the village, then he's Calm dead. down, Colleen. I'll look for him. Where did you see him last? I think he was doing something for Mr. Gianni, but whenever I ask him about Corbin, he says he's too busy. I really don't like that guy. Who's Mr. Gianni? Gianni, huh? Okay, wait here. If you find Corbin, please bring him home. I'm really getting worried about him. Have we met a Mr. Gianni yet? I don't remember a Gianni. Also, there's another treasure chest up here. Fuck, I don't have any keys, man. I don't got any keys, man. What I do know, though, is I met a Gianni. Can we, like, confirm nor deny that we've met a Mr. Gianni? Wait, wait, wait. Nope, that's the last person we just talked to. Read denim blacksmith I don't think I've met a Mr. Gianni if I have I don't know them by the name Mr. Gianni those are the materials I have by the way um yeah I don't know if I've met a Mr. Gianni yet let's keep looking maybe we'll come across this Mr. Gianni eventually it's not him he's Mayor Bram Mr. Gianni I don't think I've met a Gianni unless you're Gianni or no you're fail hey you're the outside. hey fail yeah that's me that's great so you must know your way around out there. Maybe you could do me a favor. What? It depends on the favor. What Everybody is it you in this need? town is so needy. Well, allow me to introduce myself. My name is Fail. His and name's I'm in Fail. Of keeping our guards well equipped. Oh, so their poor equipment is pretty much your fault. <laughs> in so many words, yes. It's not like I enjoy giving them so powered equipment. Oh, he wants if me to I bring him materials. materials. I can make better gear. Tell you what, if you could bring me five imp heights, I would gladly buy them off you. I don't know if I have any of those yet. I haven't been paying attention to I'll what materials I have. I was just in the menu Much a second ago and I didn't even look at I'll what I had. Right here. I saw a lot of items in there. I went up another level just by talking to people. Crazy. Yo, fail. Please let me. I'll keep. All right. I'm assuming I haven't got what he needs yet. All right. Let's go ahead and go to the next screen because I don't know what else to do right now. Oh shit. Now we can go wherever we want on the world map. Fucking cool. The Glade. Okay, that's where we started. We were just in Aurora Village. Now we can go to Archer's Pass, Abadiz Forest, or the Sanctuary. I believe the Sanctuary is where we need to go for the Blacksmith. Archer's Pass. Um, I don't know what we need to do there, actually. And Abadiz Forest looks like it's where we need to go in terms of main story quest. I may just go main story quest only and then backtrack for a side quest later. I probably will do something like that. Um, I didn't find any new keys yet, which is sad. I do like that it tells you how much you've explored and how much treasures you, you still got percentage-wise. I like those things. Um, yeah, let's just go to Abydos Forest right now. Ooh, did we get a cool cutscene to go along with it? Or is that just, just loading? Just loading. Because it's a new area. Abadis Forest. Welcome to the forest of Abadis. Aw oh, yeah. Let's get a save point up in this. Aw oh, yeah. Aw oh, yeah. Already 9% on this game. Oh, also, I went up a level and I didn't even use my skill gem yet. I will do that in a sec. Let me just whoop some ass for a second and then we'll do just that. Just whoop some ass for a few seconds because that's how I roll. That's how I motherfucking roll, son. Whooping the shit out of a dead body for no reason. Aw oh, yeah. Oh shit. That guy's not dead. I thought he was dead. Yeah, see, I'm picking up materials like crazy right now. Let me go ahead and use that skill gem. I'm going to use it on attack. Yeah. Next one will go on health. All right. So, moving on. Wait, was there was something up there, though. Like, right? Or was that just... It just looked like... Okay, never mind. I thought there was something up here. It's just a background platform. I love the background of this game. It actually gives you a sense of depth, even though you're on a 2D plane most of the time. All the time, for that matter. Maybe. Uh, that isn't you? Hey, I don't make that much noise. Wait, you're right. 
Look out. We've got Giant company. flying enemy? Oh jeez, a lot of them. Okay, well, good lucky for them and me. I'm a goddamn G with the fucking air attacks. You don't even know right now. I got the air attacks that'll make them fucking get wrecked. What air enemies? There's no air enemies. Dude, I am just on a fucking tear right now. Like, these bitches don't even know right now. Give me all your money. Alright. On a goddamn tear. On a gosh darn diggity dang tear. Put your bone club away, son. It ain't no match for my motherfucking sword of justice and despair and victory and pain. The hall of pain you will join when I whoop your ass and chop your groin, son. Alright, getting wrecked. Getting absolutely positively, positively, absolutely, tippy, baby, wrecked. Oh yeah, that, that shitty commentary is coming back. It is. I knew it would. As soon as we started just fighting battles a lot, I knew it would happen. Alright, so right now I gotta hope for some extra keys. You know what I'm thinking when I do some of the quests that I need to do when I go back to town? I'm thinking my reward might be keys. Because I'm thinking while I'm out here in the wilderness, I'm gonna find treasure chests and keys to match the treasure chests that I find. I'm, that's what I'm hoping at least. If, if that's the case, then cool. That's perfect. It's a perfect layout and good game design. So I don't have to go out of my way to go find some fucking keys. Or I gotta wait till I get 3,000 goddamn gold to buy keys, which I don't want to have to do that. Although, if I remember correctly, the shop had a certain amount of keys. I think it was six or five. I don't remember how many. So that might mean there's a certain amount of keys you do end up having to buy to get all the keys in the game. Which is also fine. I just need to know these things. Also, there's a shop dude here. Hey, shop dude. I don't know how much good a shop dude's gonna do me right now. Until I actually get more blueprints and actually get to the blacksmith. Maybe I should have went to the blacksmith first. Whoa! I didn't know that was going to be such a deep dark hole. But I'll take it, I guess. Exploration for the win. Die, monster. Die, foul beast. For you deserve not to live in my lo in my world. Welcome to my world. Getting wrecked. You wrecked. Getting wrecked. You don't want none of my shit. You fucking bitch. Getting wrecked. All right. What was over here to the left? I'm just gonna see where the, the maybe where the path branches off to come down here instead of going. Yeah. Okay. I just went up instead of down. Okay. I see. Let's go down here first then. Keep my wall chicken ready. L, L the R B. I was gonna call it L or the L B as it is. The L one button on the Xbox controller. Ooh, here's a here's a treasure chest that I can't open because I don't have a goddamn key. Isn't that amazing? And that's something that I could have probably predicted. God damn it. I should just use that. It moves a lot faster. Just be careful when you turn red, that's all. I'm turning red. Don't think you'll have to see my face again. Let's see if he will sell a key. Cause I really need that sheet. 3,000 gold, yeah right. You can suck a big fat dick tonight. Now it's time to make a choice. And all I want to hear is your, your screams. When you die at my hands, you fucking guy. And there's no place left for you to go. Because I just murdered you. There's a key. I'm gonna get that shit. So just whoop ass on monsters now. Just whoop ass and kick their ass when there's no place left for them to go. Then you can murder them slow. <laughs> oh, that was good. I have to say, if there was ever a good fitting set of lyrics for that song. It's kind of, I just kind of came up with it and you heard her here first, folks. Amazing. All right, anyway, I'm looking for a wall to blow up with that bomb before we bother grabbing it. Although I could use it to fight a little bit, but nuts. Also, I want that key. Where am I going? I want to make sure we get that key first because for all I know up here is only the key and I'm just getting away from it. Let's get the key first. Get the key first. We need the key. We need the key. I want the key. Get the key. Oh god. Surrounded by monsters. Get them all. Get them all. Get them all. Kill them all. Kill them all. All of them must die. Oh god, we grabbed the bomb apparently. That works for me. Kill them all. Kill all of them. 
Him shim dim. You motherfucker. You motherfucker. That's what I got to say about your ass. I'm also going to eat a wall chicken, which I just did. I like that eating a wall chicken is literally zero lag of, by doing so. You just press the LB, LB and it just happens. Life goes up. Life goes on. I like it. It's good. It's good. It's very good. It's a good design. Well, well, well done. Well done. All right, I got a key. Should I go back and use it on that treasure I passed? I kind of want to. You know what? I'm gonna. I'd rather get the treasures as I go, and then if I pass new ones, I'll come back to them. So let's skip the monsters for a minute, and we'll we'll, we'll, we'll wreck our way back through them. But I want to get to the treasure chest first, which is fine with me. Oh, okay, okay. All right, screw this. Screw this shit. You're all getting fucked up now, son. These bitches just, they, they wanted some, and I will gladly give them all that they want. All that I'm willing to give, which is everything I got, son. It's all worth it for the extra money, so I'm not going to complain. Extra money, extra experience, killing all the monsters along the way is a good idea. Get this treasure. Let's open this shit. Why B B Y? Give me my shit. Hella fruits and stuff. I don't know if that was quite worth it, but I'll take ten lutonets, I guess. Because it's not like I get to change my mind to go, no, I shouldn't open that. Although if I want 100% in the game, which whether I do it on screen or not, 100% in this game is very much something I will probably do. I always do on these Metroid style games, when especially when they give you a map, so you can easily go back and find things. I almost like 100% of the time, go get everything. First playthrough or not, I, I will go back and get everything. It's just something that's it's not a hassle to do, especially with a game like this, where you can fast travel around to areas and stuff, know exactly what percentage you're missing. Like, it's pretty well designed in the terms of not needing to do, like, so much backtracking that you don't even know where you might have to go back to. You can just use your map. The map is a beautiful thing. I say more Metroid games like this, this isn't Metroid really, but you know, the Metroid style layout needs a better map. And a lot of the newer games that are made in this style do have awesome maps. I mean, new Castlevania games that are made like this are very much mapped out very well. You can look at the map, say, okay, there's a save point here, this room has an item in it that you may have missed, go back to that room, that kind of thing. And this game pretty much has that exact Symphony of the Night slash Metroid layout. Notice how I am not a proponent of the term Metroidvania because, sure, you can call Castlevania Symphony of the Night Metroidvania all you want because that's what the term came from, but if you ever call a Metroid game or a game that's like Metroid, Metroidvania, it's like just call it Metroid-ish because it's more Metroid than it was Castlevania. It's what it is. Metroid did it first, so it's more of a Metroid style, so call it what it is. Even though the term Metroidvania does sound kind of cool, I'm not denying this. I'm not denying it. Metroid just did it first. I mean, if you want to call it Dust a Metroidish tale, then it would make sense to me. Also, it's raining. I think the weather just kind of changes on its own. I don't think I like prompted it by going to a new area or anything. I just I think it just happens. Also a nice little save point. I like it. I like that the save points are nice, nicely paced, kind of along the way. Where are we? Where are we? Where are we at on percent? Nine percent still. Okay, just checking percent. I should just check my auto save for percents when I go to save it for real. The auto save is always the most recent save, regardless of what I clicked for the save point. Moving on, wrecking all these flying fat dragons that remind me of things from How to Train Your Goddamn Dragon. Anyway, now we're just gonna ooh. Should have been using the Y button. Oh, wait. I got a little nice little parry attack on him. Whew, and a crit hit. Oh, snap. Getting that level six, baby. Aw, oh, yeah. Let's use it on health times. You damn right, baby. You damn right. Give me those healthies. Give me those healthishnesses. I love in this fast-pacedness. I love it. Yeah, see, I'm actually getting parries accidentally by just using the X button a lot. I think I'm just going to stick with that strat instead of actually trying to purposefully get parries all the time which not saying I can't do it but most enemies that I'm fighting with haven't really needed to use it Finally, we're out of those caverns. oh were we in caves I thought we were in a forest afraid of the dark ha, I laugh at the dark actually I'm afraid of heights that doesn't make sense you can fly how is that 
impossible. You fly all That's the what time. I'm saying. Everyone. There's no reason to be afraid if you can't oh, crash and burn. Just like you must have forgotten, I can still fall at any Yeah, time. but if your wings are working, Never then who gives a fuck? At it that way. You're an interesting one, Fidget. If I could fly, man, we'd be everywhere. Heights would not be an issue. There's no reason to be afraid of heights when you can save yourself. And I was like, sure, people are afraid to swim, but you could save yourself if you just learn how to save yourself. Whether you can swim well or not is irrelevant. You can save yourself, that's enough. Throw me in some water, I hate swimming, but you know what? I'm pretty goddamn sure I can save myself. I've been in the water enough times to know this. I may not be a fucking champion in Olympic swimmer, but I can goddamn save myself. Throw me in the water and I will get out. You bastards. Unless, of course, there's a, there's a giant Loch Ness monster in there. And then in that case, that uh, the cards are thrown out the, off the table. Cards out the window. I'm not even using using her. I need to press B more often in the middle of my attacks. So I can actually get some extra little damage in there. It might save me a little bit of damage that I've been taking. Send me a little bit of that extra damage I've been taking, you know what I'm saying? Oh, God. Cactus, Cactus Jack over here. Don't appreciate your sass, sir. I don't know if I like that it says I can go down on these areas because I have not seen a path where I can actually go down yet. Oh, God. You ass. You ass. You ass. How dare you? I don't think I can go down there yet, so I'm just going to keep moving. So I can stop getting stabbed in the butthole. Okay, we need to heal. Heal. Oh, I see our life. As we get more health, it gets segmented, and you can actually know how much one wall chicken will heal. That's actually pretty cool. I didn't even realize that was a thing. Now that we have more health, I can tell easier. I am e yes, I know. You're here to serve, broski. What do you... Do you have anything new yet? No. Still can't afford your stinking keys, either. The finest lumber in Falana. Speaking of things... Shouldn't I sell him one of everything? I'm supposed to sell him one of everything, right? Let me do that real quick, just so I get everything in the catalog. Um, yeah, just sell one of everything, because then he'll start selling everything, right? If you sell one of everything, then he can sell it. So there's no reason to hold back on this, because he can sell everything, I'm sure. Just one of everything, even if I only have one or zero one or two of them at least he'd be able to sell more and any time I could buy some Your more stacks. The materials you've sold me will be quite right, cool. I also share my stock with other merchants. Yeah, so any merchants Thank you. that sell materials will sell those. So it's pretty sweet. We just unlocked a lot of stuff. Also we got a quest complete? What? You've stocked the new material type. Okay. So I see. We only really needed to do one to get the quest done and I sold him like ten just now. Works for me. Alright, so we still can't climb this shit, which is fine. We'll learn. Something we shall learn later in life. How to climb. How to climb those vines like a goddamn campion. Alright, we are now officially at 15%. Dude, these percents go by fast. What the hell? 15%. 15% my arse. Whatever, I'll take it. I'll take 15%. I'll take it to the Bizank. Put that shit away. Make it make a lot of money off on interest and set my savings account and um, then I'll get derailed by what I'm saying and not know what the fuck I'm even talking about anymore. So there you go. Have at it. <laughs> uh, sometimes I don't even know what I'm talking about. This is what happens when I play a game like this where I don't know what the fuck I'm like supposed to say. I was a little worried about this one having so much dialogue to the point where I wouldn't know... Like, I wouldn't get a chance to talk about random shit, but I'm starting to feel like this game is perfect for talking about random shit. Just gotta shut up when they start talking again which is about every few screens. So, by talking about random shit, uh, this week has actually been E3. Let's see, this episode goes up. This is a Thursday episode. Or, no, actually, this is actually the weekend. I forgot. So, E3 was this past week, if I was going by when this episode goes up. Um, episode, what am I saying? E3 was this past week, and there was a lot of good, cool announcements, intriguing announcements, and uh, some disappointments as well. Um, since this is an indie game, I didn't really look at any indie game stuff, so I don't really have anything to say about on that on that front, like anything that looked intriguing. E E3 usually isn't for indie games, though, so you won't hear much unless uh, they're indie games that are getting ported to another console or something, and they want to make you know about it. I'm sure there was some of those, but honestly, I didn't watch 
any of the presentations live. I pretty much just looked at the news and the videos and trailers afterwards. That's pretty much how I got my E3 news this year. So anyways, needless to say, um, obviously I was most excited to see what Nintendo had in store for us. Overall, kind of disappointed in what they showed us. Um, most of it was expected. We didn't really get that one one like really one real announcement where you're just like oh my god I didn't know they were gonna make that or I didn't know we were gonna hear about that right now nothing that we heard was like that I mean the only thing that was like that was the new Metroid Prime game on the 3DS but it's not a real Metroid Prime game I mean sure it's probably part of the lore but it's more like Metroid Prime Hunters than Metroid Prime main story where you play as Samus so, I mean, that's all well and good. It's probably going to be a fun game and all that because Nintendo makes fun games pretty much 99% of the time. Most of their games are fun. It's just whether or not it's fun for you depending on who you are and what kind of games you prefer. Point is, I could totally see this as a Nintendo title, by the way. This is a very you know, cartoon stylistic game that's very feels like a Nintendo game even though I'm playing it on a 360 Xbox. Point is... Metroid Prime, the I forget what it's called, Federation Troopers or some shit, I can't remember the name of it. Um, it does look fun, but it doesn't feel like Metroid to me. Um, I'm kind of more sad that they didn't just like say this is the next Metroid game coming, but we have this and this in the works, or this in the works, when a 3D or a 2D real Samus Metroid game on the way or in the works work being worked on by blah 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 so and so we didn't even get that now I'm not saying we won't get that by the by the time I say this on this video because there's always a chance that late late in E3 they mention it somewhere and you know interview with the developer or something but I haven't seen anything as, as of this moment when I'm recording this and what the hell how did I just make that jump I was just what the oh because I was swinging at an enemy okay I made I just made a like ridiculously high jump there it's just Oh, I wasn't paying attention to my health. Wait, what? She's been silenced. Why Oh. She would be okay. You mean Fidget can't talk now at all? That's terrible. Really awful. Way to be non-sarcastic at all, Dust. So wait, why can't she talk? I don't think that has anything to do with my health. I thought maybe I died. I was like, wait, I'm not dead. Speaking of health, I'm going to eat another chicken. Um I should probably equip one of my other healing items pretty soon here, and I will. But anyway, as I was saying, the, I would say the only thing disappointing about Nintendo's presentation was saying there's a new Metroid game and then not being the kind of Metroid game we were wanting and expecting and hoping for. That's probably the only thing that really disappointed me about Nintendo's presentation. Otherwise, we got what we expected, and I was perfectly fine with it. Like, Star Fox game for Wii U coming out after the... You know, the mechanics were announced and shown off last year. The game is actually in development. It's supposed to come out this year, which is good. I'm glad. New Star Fox game should be fun. Um, they will only open if you have a resonance gem of the same color. What the fuck's a resonance gem? I don't even know what that is. Do I have Do I have a resonance gem? I don't believe I do. I have, an, I have a key. Also, I have augments that I haven't equipped. I feel kind of dumb. All right, now that's equipped. We have the ring blue ring. We have a pendant. When the hell did we get this? I don't know. Put it on. We still don't have a ring, though. We need to get some rings. Um, we apparently don't have the blue gem we need to open up that. That's fine. We'll find it eventually. So anyway, besides Metroid, which I already hammered in the ground, and Star Fox, which was a pretty much expected announcement that everybody was expecting to hear about, wasn't sure if it was going to be this year. That was probably the only happy surprise about it. They didn't announce a date. They just said fall or holiday 2015 which Nintendo is usually pretty good about that especially this year they need some stuff to finish off the year on besides Xenoblade Chronicles X of course which also got a release date of December very sad I was hoping for a summer release got pushed to fall or to December of all months gotta wait till the end of the year now I can, I'll wait till the end of the fucking my days to play Xenoblade X but I'm just saying like I was really amped up to play it or sometime late summer, but nope. Gonna have to wait till almost the new year to get around to it. That's fine. It's fine. It's gonna be fun either way. I'm not gonna not gonna hate on it. Should I be jumping down from here by the way? Is there something to jump down to? Hmm. That might have been a complete waste of time, actually. Yay, for a complete waste of time. Yay. Actually, was there No, there's no platforms that I can see directly under here. Um anyway. 
Let's see, what other things did I... Oh, what am I even... I'm completely veering off from the excitement I was most excited for. I didn't even say what that was yet. The thing I was most excited to hear about, finally, those of you who know me and know my channel, know I am a very big Final Fantasy fan. And while I am excited for Final Fantasy XV hopefully to come out early next year, I don't think it's coming out this year. They didn't announce that or anything. But Final Fantasy VII HD Remake. Yep, not a HD update to put on PS4 like they're going to release later this year. Actual HD Remake. Hell yeah, dude. Words cannot express how excited I am for this. And if I happen to be LPing two years from now when it comes out, and yes, it will come out in 2017, they said that because that's when the 20 year anniversary of Final Fantasy VII is. And I'm perfectly okay with it. I can wait. I've waited this long. Just to know that it exists is enough for me right now. And they're not just going to tease us with it forever and never do it. They're actually going to do it and make it happen. Amazing. And those graphics they're going to use because it's PS4, I am a thousand percent down with it. And because of the new graphics, I expect new mechanics and new things about the story. And maybe not every scene will be depicted like it was in the original game. That's fine. I'm just excited to see Final Fantasy VII as a full-fledged RPG in fully realized HD PS4 graphics. And I could not be more excited for it. I'll have to contain my excitement a bit because it's not coming out for a couple years, but I can still be happy that it exists, and then lingering in my mind will always be that little bit of happiness that just keeps telling me, yes, I new Final Fantasy is on the way one day, sir. That's And I don't have to wait for You know, I'll have 15 to hold me over till then, basically. And I still have Final Fantasy Type-0 to play. I bought that on my PS4 just so I could play the Final Fantasy 15 demo, and I haven't even played it yet. I bought it basically just to do the demo. We must be getting close. Anyway, let's get back to the story of this game for a minute. Look, we may oh no, Bugs Bunny is dead. Let's Who killed Bugs Bunny? Somebody killed Bugs Bunny. Let's let's uh, revive Bugs Bunny over here. Maybe he was on his way to Albuquerque. Or did he make a rep? Was it? He, he wasn't heading to Albuquerque. He made a wrong turn in Albuquerque. That's the joke, right? I made a wrong turn in Albuquerque. Did we kill everything? Trying to clear out these bitches so I can help you, sir. Any more? Any more bitches? There are more bitches. There's this bitch. There's also another note here on the ground. I want to make sure I read it. Yeah, somebody in my comments the first episode of this playthrough was pretty much saying, I want you to read everything. And, I, and I'm going to try. I'm going to try to read it all. I may forget about a note I pick up here and there, but I will definitely try to remember to read it all. Speaking of that, let's read this note I just picked up. Because I can. Um... Wait, where are my notes? Are they in here? No. Where are my notes? They are in quest? Yes, there they are. I just picked up the cliff. The words can barely be made out, but it seems to say, Travel far to the north away from this place. In the highest peaks of the Blackmore Mountains await the soul carrying a red crystal. Hey, that's a nice little cryptic clue of where we can find a red crystal. I am yes, you're here to serve, sir. You sell a lot of things. Speaking of that, I need to buy or equip my uh, other healing items. He sells dull ring. I, I want to make a dull ring. I can buy a treasure key finally. I'm not gonna do that right now. He's actually laid out a, a lot more often than I expected him to be. I accidentally just skipped what he was saying. I just pressed start and then A, and I was like, oops. Oh well. Fuck you, buddy. All right, let's eat our last wall chicken, and then we'll equip. God, I keep thinking it's start to do the equipment. We need to equip a new fruit here. Um. Let's just equip the lowest one. I'm not even sure how much 10 health is compared to 20 health is compared to what I need to heal with. We'll see when we start healing with it. In fact, let's try one right now. Oh, not even a, like a quarter of the way on one bar. Should we, is he dead or is he just knocked out? Because he's just out. Bugs Bunny is dead. Poor Bugs Bunny. He won't be raw raw sis boom bawing anytime soon, I tell you what. He'll just be on the ground face down in the mud. Sad as fuck. Oh shit. Okay. Interesting how we go up through another screen. That's the first time I've gone up, I think, on a screen. Oops. Didn't mean to fall. There is a safe one up here though. Awesome. We're actually closing in on minute on minutes. On episode time anyways. So let's look around on the screen for a minute and then we'll call it a call it a wrap for the day. Save point is right here, and we've done quite a bit, and then we've talked about E3. Um, do I have anything left about E3 that I want to mention, um, besides Final Fantasy VII? Oh, Kingdom Hearts 3. Did not expect any news, honestly. I didn't expect them to even mention it. I thought they would just give us, like, maybe a closer release date window to Final Fantasy XV, 
And that's all I really expected for Final Fantasy. Instead, we, or Kingdom Hearts for that matter. Um, but instead, we got Final Fantasy VII Remake announcement, and Kingdom Hearts 3, we got a new trailer. And the new trailer was very beautiful looking graphic wise, and the gameplay still looks fun, and the areas look very big and open world ish. Kingdom Hearts, the games I've played at least, which is 1, 2, and uh, Birth by Sleep, none of the areas were really that big. They were kind of straightforward, kind of linear. The areas weren't that explorable. I mean, a couple areas here and there in, the, in Kingdom Hearts 2 are, but overall the worlds are not that vast. So I'm excited to see how big and more open world Kingdom Hearts 3 may or may not be based on what I saw in the trailer. I should must stop here because we're about to go to another screen. Okay, and those are pretty much my biggest excitements. There's a, there's a few games here and there by uh, EA and like Last Guardian for Sony. Just a, a few games that are here and there that looked intriguing that might be fun. But I don't know yet because they're new IPs and stuff like that. We'll see. We'll see. Anyway, I'm going to wrap this episode up here on the bridge of death, doom, and destruction. And in the next episode, we'll cross it and continue on our way through this forest. At least I thought we were in a forest. I have no idea anymore. But we're not in the forest anymore, Dorothy. We're not there. See you guys next time. Peace.